Um, I have an announcement to make. <coughs> ara, ara. I'm here today because I got a lot of questions on asking, you know, how I, you know, dyed my green military jacket to brown, right? And a lot of people made valid points on why I should make the video, and I thought to myself, like, you know, I'll make one, why not, right? It should be fun, it should be pretty quick to do. And plus, you know, I like making things that are unique to me, right? You know, I have hands, right? I could... I, you know, but, you know... <laughs> You know, I have my own hands, right? You know, why not use them to my best abilities, right? Make something that's unique to me, right? Because everyone kind of likes having that one item. You know, no one likes to be like, you know, a part of like the crowd, right? And so you always kind of want something that's unique to you. And so in my case, I like grabbing old thrifted vintage stuff and I like changing the color so it could adapt to my closet. And that's what I'm here to do today, right? I'll run through the entire process here today because you know, the brown is kind of fire, but the problem is that the brown was actually a mistake, right? Originally, I wanted to turn green to black, and you know, following this chart that I'll link down below, right? Uh, if you have a green item, you need to mix two parts black, one part scarlet red, so you can create like the darkest color because the green and black, like, no, the green and red, uh, they like cancel each other out or something like that, but uh, I think I added too much red, and so it resulted in brown. And so I'll, you know, using the same chart um, to make brown into black, right? You need to mix two parts black, one part navy. And so, you know, that's what I'll do here today. The jacket that I'm using today is a 1960s, 70s A2 deck jacket from the Vietnam War era. So what you'll need is red all-purpose dye. And in this case, since the jacket is brown, you need navy blue and black, salt, vinegar, a source of hot water, and a plastic tub you don't mind ruining. So my step-to-step -step process is to fill the plastic tub with a good amount of water, right? As hot as you can. And while you're doing this, boil hot water in the biggest pot you can find, right? Next, you want to pour the dye in. Now, there are instructions on the back to tell you the amount of dye you need to put in per the amount of water. But, you know, I went to a South Seattle public school system, so you know what that means. I can't really read for shit, so I just poured that entire bitch in, you know what I'm saying? Now, because the jacket is brown and I'm trying to make it black, I do need to add a little bit of navy dye into it, right, to balance it out so it can create that darkest black possible. And since this military jacket is nylon and cotton, you need salt and vinegar to trap the colors in the material, right? So I just pour a good amount in. After all that, you should mix your solution. But once that water you put on the stove is finally boiling, you need to grab it and pour it into this mixture and then put the pot back on the stove and refill it again. Once you've done all that, right, you want to grab your jacket and put it inside the water solution, right? And then you want to mix it around and flip it every 30 minutes. This is so that the jacket can get an even coat of the dye and so you won't have any weird patches. Once your second pot of water is finally finished boiling, right, you want to pour it back into the same container and then mix it around. You want to repeat the mixing process every 30 minutes for the next 2-3 to three hours. After the 2-3 to three hours are done, you want to rinse it out with warm water until the water runs clear and then rinse it out with cold water so you can trap the color in, right? Afterward, you want to let it hang dry until it dries fully. A really big disclaimer, right? If you decide to do this, please do it somewhere that you don't give a fuck about because this will stain your bathtub and the only real way you can get it out is with watered down bleach and just pouring it and letting it sit there. Now that the jacket's done drying, right? Let me tell you, bro. Oh, oh my god. Let me tell you the color that it came out to you, bro. It's so fire. It's the same fucking color. Sweat it. God. So yeah, uh, the color didn't really end up changing. I think the reason for that is because I did try dyeing this jacket like, you know, three, four times, right? And I don't think the material can take any more color. But I do think that, you know, I do think that this, uh, you know, the brown fits much better in my closet compared to the green. And, you know, I'm pretty happy with the results. Um, if you learn from my mistakes and you still follow like similar steps, I do think yeah, you, you can achieve, you know, changing, you know, a color of an item to any color you want, right? It just takes, you know, time and effort and, you know, a lot of, a lot of water. Jesus Christ. But yeah, you know, that's all for me. I ain't got no, no I ain't got nothing else really to say. Yeah, but thank you.